guys, welcome back to Let's Play Sly 2 in the last episode. Look at bottle. In the last episode, um, we looked for some of the bottles here. We found quite a few. Made some progress. Making good progress here. This is going really fast. The treasures seem to be the problem here. Three more. And they're not that hard. They're actually kind of out in the open. Um, they're kind of a general area. I'm getting the hang of where they're at, though. Getting the gist of this. I thought with those big ice areas up near the top, it's be a really pain, pain in the ass level to do. But considering those areas being so hard to get to, they're all around that area. And yeah, obviously you just kind of bang, 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 got them all. Okay. I hear a bottle, I think. I think I hear one. Another guy dead, okay. Another one bites of dust. Where are all the bottles here? Wow. Now they're all disappearing on me again. It's the last three. They always do that. Another treasure. Another uh, sapphire, I guess. Uh. God, that bear. Whoop! <laughs> That's that guy's voice. I like it. Huh? This <laughs> bear just kills him. It's great. That is great. That is a great little gaming moment right there for me. I've, I've made moments this game, but that one, truly. That took the cake. Oh my gosh. Can I walk on that thing? Uh, is that an option here? It is. I can just... One more. Last one. Then we can get along with the first mission. Oh, a ruby. These are hard to come by. Them are worth a lot. Figure that out. We've actually been finding them for a long time now, obviously, ever since we started finding those other jewels. <sighs> My boy! Where's that last bottle? Should I like right along this? Damn it! Come on. You know the sad thing is people probably have walkthroughs opened up and as I get them they're like chicken them off. There's like the last one. Oh, it's right there. It's just you probably pass it like three times. Wait a second, let me take a break here to scratch my face. I think I hear one. Oh, I died, whatever. That'll give me a time to look over again. I die a lot in this game. When I'm looking for bottles, at least. When I'm playing the legit game, I never die. Although we're near the end of the game, this is actually the second to last level right here. The one after this is the finale of the game, not me. We're very far away from the finale, actually. Let's check the ground real quick here. You'll make a sound. I 
Go around me that way to just know where they're at, by the way. Ugh. Actually, I complain it's a disaster, these bottles, but I remember how, how bad they were in Sly 1. Holy shit, they were hiding in the toilets! God, does everyone just want to fight me? Wait a second. I hear you. I hear you, bottle. Last bottle. Where are you at? There you are. See ya. Last one in the game. How do I get up there? How do I get up there? How do I get up to you, bottle? No wonder this. No wonder this is a good area to put one. Oh, that actually works? Wait a second. <laughs> it actually works? You got your gift net height? That's all of them. And I don't know if we can get to the code right away. We cannot. It's only one world in the game you can do that in. That's Contessa's because it's on, like no indoor areas. Because I don't know. It's, they don't like indoor areas in that game, apparently. In that level, apparently. I guess, I guess it, it, the prison is the only place, so... There's only one indoor area, and you can't put it in there, so... I could actually kill the bear. That'd be cool. I'm gonna do the first mission of the game now. There we are. Yeah, that's the last thing right there. That's what we need to do. We need to do that mission. Let me up there. No. Come on, I'm already going with all the collectibles in this world. You're defying your family, Sly. It's good to see my cane upgrade perform so well in the field. Now scout the area. I could really use the reconnaissance. Oh, that's some weird stuff. We got like all kinds of uh, areas here. Let's use the bear. Let's look at the bear. Look at the bears. Look at the bears. Look at the bears. This place is bear country, all right. Interesting. He's putting out a slight radio signature. What? So there's a uh, Jamson's cabin up there. Oh, that one we've been having trouble climbing around. That's John Bassan's cavern, apparently. Cavern. Cavern. Cabin. Excuse me. Another gold nugget. Lovely. It was a worth a bit. I love how this stuff's so legit. Like, Wi-Fi and shit is a real thing. Oh shit, you! Fuck your grandma. Ugly tree grandmas. You know, all you trees out there watching this, your grandmas are ugly. 
Just saying. Can't get a good view of that from here. Oh, not again! You serious, game? <laughs> Retard guard of the day! Getting a lot of coins off you guards, wow. That's good. I mean, it's not a bad thing at all, but... It's wow. Oh, wow, I wouldn't be able to do it from up there anyways, so it's good. And I don't know. Make a joke. Somebody make a joke for me. I'm not gonna make a joke today. Make a little joke and laugh at yourself. That's what we'll do for today's episode. Does this make me lose all my progress? Please don't make me lose all my progress. I'm dying. I don't want to do another episode. Oh, that's like nice, lots of nice edges in this world. Jeez, they only increase them as you go. Object hidden. It was perfectly fine a second ago. I've escaped them! Oh God. Just leave, Sly! Just go! Close enough. I like how I've been using the smoke bomb throughout this game. I never really used that my first time playing this at all. Or any of my times, in fact. Let's leave you. There it is. Don't call more guards in. I'm bad enough with these. Actually, next level, they don't have guards like that. They don't have the small guard for some reason. I don't think there might be a small guard, but I, I, I never noticed one, so. Oh, that's how we're getting in? Okay. <laughs> okay, if that's how you want me to get in. I'll take the rear entrance. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, this is like the one with uh, Rajan. Okay. Barred from the inside. By a chair. <coughs> oh, you wanna... You wanna go? You wanna go? You wanna go? You wanna go to Walmart? Huh? You wanna go to Walmart, Mr. Battery? Oh my god. This is such a hard thing to do. Close enough. Bring in the competition. Although, who am I kidding? Hey, 
I'm gonna win just like every other year. <laughs> oh, it's tough being this tough. It sure is. Yeah. Head back to the safe house. We need to talk about these lumberjack games. Bow, 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 bow. 70%. That is a lovely little thing to see there. Well, guys, Jean Bisson has unknowingly thrown down the gauntlet. With the Clockwork Talons as a trophy, we'd be fools not to participate in his lumberjack games. Fortunately, due to frequent avalanches, a log chopping guide was frozen in a wall of ice not far from our position. Sly, you're in charge of acquiring the book. I'm sure it will prove invaluable. Now, we're all aware that Arpeggio's blimp is coming to pick up another battery. To sneak aboard without incident, I'd recommend we pull a Trojan horse and stow away inside the battery. However, the location of the device is still a mystery. We need some inside information. So, working together, you two will infiltrate the Moose Guard's secret RC combat club. Those guys all work in the lighthouse. If you win the battle, I'm sure they'll talk. Despite his antique mind, Jean Bisson's no fool. To keep tabs on him, we'll need to bug his house, steal the radio tags off local bears, and then jerry-rig them into a sensor array. It's a challenging set of tasks, and that blimp's on its way. Let's get to work. In the next episode, we'll get to work. Uh, for now, we got some things we can sell. We can take a break. And, uh, yeah, turn off the game. We got all the characters available now here for this world. Lovely. That's all of our things. We got 3,857 coins. Plenty. We can buy some uh, upgrades with those. I'm going to call an episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed. And thank you for watching.